God. Go ahead. Great things he has done. Great things he will do. Unto the Lord. Yes, sir. God is good. 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 Hallelujah. 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 We give God a praise because great things he has done. And great things he's going to do for us tonight in the name of Jesus. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'd like to welcome everyone to our prayers for this week. I welcome those who are using the usual method of calling in. I also like to welcome those who are calling in on Bishop Etiola podcast. We welcome you and we pray that tonight will be a very, very special night in your lives. I like to welcome everyone from the New York area and everyone from all over the United States of America, especially our friends from outside the country. We like to welcome you too. Nigeria, welcome. Many of you are listening on podcast tonight. Guyana, Canada, we like to say a big welcome to each and every one of you. Lastly, but not the least, by no means, I'd like to welcome all the nurses that are present with us tonight. This is Nurses Week. We appreciate the profession that you have chosen in life. We appreciate your diligence in ex- executing that profession especially during this very, very, very difficult time. My prayer is that God will continue to keep you. God will continue to watch over you. And our prayers are with you. God's going to see you through this very, very difficult time. Again, welcome. Welcome to every one of you. Let us bow our heads and pray. And ask the good Lord to bless us together tonight. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you and we worship you for bringing us together. To pray and to seek your face. Thank you for your power that sustains us day in, day out. Thank you because right now, you're going to do great and mighty things among us. So we ask that you have your way as we pray. And give us the spirit of prayer. Give us a spirit of supplication. In Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name, I pray. And everybody said amen. And amen. And amen. Our theme for this week is decree and declare. That's our theme for this week. Decree and declare. Now, decree and declaring is one of the... uh, one of the strategies of praying. You recall we have used binding and loosing. That's one strategy of praying. We have used plead your cause. That's another strategy of praying. We have used pleading the blood of Jesus. That's another strategy of praying. Making a decree and pronouncing declarations are two other powerful methods I want us to use against coronavirus this week. And not only against coronavirus, actually, you can use this same method against anything in your life. And to bring things to pass, this is one method that works in all other areas of your life. I'm going to read... uh, a passage of scripture, and I'm going to say a few things after which we'll go into prayer tonight. 
I feel I need to give you some background instruction as to what we have in mind tonight. Those of you who are listening to us on podcast, I trust you are already on. If you are using an iPhone or an iPad, you may have difficulty getting on the uh, on the podcast tonight. But if you use an Android, you should be able to get on without any trouble whatsoever. The scripture I'm reading is in Job chapter 22, in verse 27 on down. These are words spoken by a man called Eliphaz, the Timonite. He was one of the miserable friends of Job. And he was one that alluded to this truth when he was wrongly accusing and judging Job. Inside his mistake, we find a great nugget of truth that I would like to share with you tonight. Job chapter 22. I'm reading from verse number 27. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Verse 29. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say there is a lifting up. Hallelujah. And he shall save the humble person. He shall deliver the island of the innocent. And it is delivered by the pureness of thine hands. Verse 28 is our focus verse tonight. Thou shalt also decree a thing. And it shall be established unto thee. Let me read that one more time. Thou shalt also decree a thing. And it shall be established unto thee. What is a decree? If I may ask. A decree is simply a legal pronouncement of authority. A decree is a legal pronouncement of authority. A formal and authoritative order. Especially one that is having the force of law. Let me simply put it. A decree is a legal pronouncement of authority. I repeat again. A decree is a legal pronouncement of authority. Now, three things are in that simple definition. It says, a decree is a legal pronouncement of authority. Three things. That every good decree must have. Number one, a decree must be pronounced either in a spoken form or in a written form. All right? A decree is not a decree until it is written. A decree is not a decree until it is spoken. Now, for us tonight, we are going to use the speaking part. We are going to make decrees by speech. But that definition which says it's a legal pronouncement of authority also says it must be pronounced by someone that has authority for any decree to have any weight. If you make a decree, but you don't have authority to make the decree, you're wasting your time. It's not going to work. The third thing I see in that uh, definition is that the pronouncement must not be illegal. All right? If you make an illegal pronouncement, it's not going to stand. If it contradicts the scriptures, it will not stand. That's the good news about our decrees tonight. Our decrees tonight will meet all the three criteria. We will make pronouncements with our mouth. Number one, in prayer. Then number two, we have the authority vested in us as Christians to make such pronouncements. Because we are operating under the Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us the authority to bind and to lose, the authority to speak and to see it come to pass. So we meet that condition also. And lastly, the things we are decreeing tonight about coronavirus are absolutely legal and soundly scriptural. 
So we're going to ask God, God, we have something, some things to declare and decree tonight. And everything will line up with the word of God. So we are sure, our brothers and sisters, that our decree is going to stand. You know, we are not the first set of people to use decrees. Decrees have been used for years and years and years in the Bible. Number one, Genesis begins with decrees. God used decrees when he created the heavens and the earth. Remember when he said, let there be light? That was a decree, and there was light. Remember when he said, let there be firmament? And it was. That was a decree. Remember he said, let the earth bring forth grass? Look outside. There is grass outside. So all the decrees of God met all those three criteria. There was a pronouncement. There was authority behind the pronouncement, and there was legality in the pronouncement. Remember King Herod? King Herod also used the same decree. The Bible says in Luke chapter 2 that in those days, there was a decree. It was not even Herod, it was Caesar Augustus. Please forgive me. Caesar Augustus made a decree in those days that the whole world should be taxed. And guess what? everybody went to their place of origin. And that was why Mary, pregnant as she was, had to go because a decree had been, she couldn't say I'm pregnant, I can't go. No, a decree had been made by Caesar Augustus, it's time to move. It was obeyed even by a heavily pregnant woman. And the Bible says in verse 3 of chapter uh, Luke chapter 2, and all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. Everybody went there to his own city to be taxed. Another person that used uh, a decree was Elijah. Elijah the Tishbite. In 1 Kings chapter 17, the Bible says, and Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain three years, but according to my word. (laughs) And it was established. I mean, Elijah just went out there and said, You know what, I'm I'm just going to make a decree under God. And he said, There will be no rain for three years, Until I say there will be rain. Do you see the difference between a decree and the regular prayers that we're all used to praying? There's a difference, you know. If it were a regular prayer, Elijah would have said something like this. O Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I pray thee, let there be no rain in this land for three years. Lord, answer my prayer that the people may know that you are God Almighty. That would have been the way any other person would have prayed. But at that time, this man said, I'm just going to make a decree. So what was the decree made? He spoke with authority. And he said, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain three these years, but according to my word. And guess what happened? He was established. He was. So we see God used decrees. Elijah used decrees. Let me give you one more person that used decrees. That was Joshua. In chapter 10 of Joshua, in verse 12. Let me read it to you. Then speak Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said, listen to this folks. He said in the sight of Israel. He looked at the sun. And he said, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and moon, stand thou still in the valley of Ajalon. Do you see the difference between making decrees and the way we are all used to praying? He could have said, God, please let the sun stand still in the name of Jesus, if it were today. He could have said, the moon, uh, stand still. Father, let it stand still. Father, let it stand still. And he could have said it seven times. 
But rather he looked at the sun, he looked at the moon like someone that had authority, that someone like had the backing of God behind him, like someone that was doing a legal pronouncement because he had a f- battle to fight. So this was a legal thing to do. And he said, sun stand still, moon stand still. And guess what happened in verse 13? Hallelujah. And the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Can you believe that? The sun and the moon. He did not even tell them how long they had to stay, but they just stayed until they finished the fight. Because somebody that knew his God stood up and made a decree. Folks, Elijah is dead and gone. Joshua is dead and gone. It's you and I now that are on the battlefield. And it is now your turn. It is now my turn. As people of faith, as people of authority, as people who are under God, to make decrees concerning this wicked coronavirus and see those decrees established. Let me show you the original text again as we go before God to pray. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. When men are cast down, folks, hey, many people are cast down. You heard my sermon last Sunday. Many people are depressed, folks. When men are cast down, if they can decree against the depression, God can lift them up and take the garment of heaviness off them and give them excitement in their spirit. It says, when men are cast down, then thou shalt say this, there is a lifting up, and God will lift you up, and he will save the one that is humble enough. To cry to God. And then in verse 30 he says he shall deliver the island of the innocent. Hallelujah. Innocent. Look at all these innocent nurses. That go to the battlefield to face coronavirus. They were innocently doing their jobs. And many of them got infected by this virus. He shall deliver the island of the innocent. And it is delivered by the pureness of their hands. I want you to notice the conditions he gave you, he said, number one, he shall save the humble person. And we're going to pray that before we start making decrees. He said, he shall deliver the island of the innocent. We are going to pray about that before we start making decrees. And he says, he, they will be delivered by the pureness, pureness of their hands. Purity counts. Those three things, humility, innocency, and purity. So before we even start making any decree tonight, we're going to pray about those three things so we can be really, really qualified as children of God to be able to make decrees that will come to pass. We will be using these verses uh, for the first maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll add other prayer points as we go on tonight. Are you ready? I hope you are, because I'm ready here. Let's go before God and ask him to help us. Father, as we proceed tonight, have your way. Give the people the spirit of prayer. Give the people the spirit of supplication that will be able to pray. And this one hour will look like it is just five minutes. Strengthen us and help us to focus. We ask in Jesus name. And everybody said, Amen. And amen, and amen, and amen. I want to begin to thank the Father for another opportunity to pray tonight. I wanted to say, Lord, I thank you. I praise you. I worship you. I thank you for another opportunity to come before the throne of grace and to call upon you tonight. Father, we praise you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to come and pray tonight. 
Come on, give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him dominion. Give him majesty. Say, Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I praise you. Say, Lord, I adore you. Say, Lord, I honor you. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to come here to pray tonight. Come on, bless his holy name. Come on, worship him. Come on, adore him. Our Father who art in heaven, we thank you for this great, 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 great opportunity to come before you to pray unto you tonight. Thank you, Lord God, for drawing us closer to you. I want you to thank God for not allowing us to be tired. I want you to thank God for not allowing us to be weary. I want you to thank God for not allowing us to give up praying. We cannot give up until this coronavirus gives up totally and completely. And as you can tell in the news, it's giving up, it's giving up, it's giving up, and it will totally disappear. If God's people will pray, God will do great things uh, for the people of this world. So let's thank God for the opportunity we have uh, to come and to pray. Thank God for putting it in your heart to still come and pray tonight. Thank God for laying it on your spirit to still come and pray tonight. Father, we praise you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we glorify you. I want you to thank the Father for giving you this opportunity to come and pray tonight. I want you to thank him for sustaining you since the time we left here on Friday. Thank God for keeping you. Thank God for watching over you. Thank God for sustaining you day in, day out since the last time we met on this prayer line. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you. Father, we glorify you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank God for his provision also. Thank God for support. For, for supplying your needs, uh, for protecting you and providing for you day in, day out. Uh, Father, for this, we give you glory. Father, for this, we give you honor. Father, for this, we give you dominion. Father, for this, we give you majesty. Thank you, Lord God, for protection, O oh God. Thank you, Lord God, for providing for us right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we praise you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. In the name of Jesus, we worship you, Lord, for protecting us. Thank you, Lord, for providing for us. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us day by day. Thank you, Lord, for keeping every member of our family. Father, we glorify you. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you for your keeping power. Father, we adore you for your keeping grace. Come on, worship him. Come on, adore him. Come on, glorify him. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank Thank you, we 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Let's go into his presence with thanksgiving tonight. Uh, let's come into his gates with thanksgiving and come into his presence with praise tonight. Uh, thank him because he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. Uh, thank God for his ability. He's the omnipotent God. He's a ruler like we prayed about last week. Uh, your father is a ruler. His name is Adonai. He is the one who is in charge. He's the one who controls. And we can make a decrease based on who God is and see this thing disappearing and totally disappeared. Father, we bless you for your omnipotence because under your banner, O oh God, we make our enforceable decrees tonight. We make some decrees that must be enforced tonight under your banner, under your power, under your grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you dominion. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to ask him to cleanse you tonight. In the name of Jesus, Father, cleanse me tonight from whatever will hinder my prayers tonight. In the name of Jesus, tell the Lord, Oh God, cleanse me, oh God, from whatever will hinder my decrees tonight, that will make the enemy to resist the decrees that I make tonight. Father, cleanse me from whatever it is that will make the enemy to resist the decrees that I make this evening. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray that you will cleanse us. I want you to pray according to what I told you earlier, that any pride, any arrogance in you, and I've made quite a 
few believers that are very, very, very arrogant, very, 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 very egotistic. I want you to pray that the Lord will wash you of all pride. The Bible says, if uh, if uh, I look at those that are proud afar off, I don't want God to look at us afar off when we are making some necessary decrees tonight. I want you to pray that any guilt in your heart, any condemnation in your heart, the Lord will wash with the blood of Jesus tonight. Any guilt, any condemnation in thoughts, in words, and in deed. Oh Lord, let there be cleansing for me tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that any condemnation in your heart, whichever way your heart condemns you, that the Lord will not condemn you tonight, but will wash you, will cleanse you, so that your prayers will be able to ascend to him this evening. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the Lord will forgive you of any sin of omission, any sin of commission, any doubt, any unbelief. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, wash us, O God. Wash us from any guilt. Wash us from any pride. Wash us from any arrogance. Wash us from any personal condemnation. Wash us from anything that condemns us. Any sin of omission, any sin of commission. Holy Ghost, wash us this evening, O God. Any doubt, any unbelief. Let them be washed, let them be cleansed, let them be removed from us, O God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight that the Lord will cleanse you, that you come underneath the blood. I come underneath the blood tonight. I come by way of the blood tonight to pray, O God. I come by the way of the blood to pray tonight, O God. And I pray there will be cleansing, O God, that you will wash, you will cleanse us. I want you to pray for everyone on these airwaves that are listening to us, that are praying along with us, that if there be anything in them that that is contrary to the plan and the will of God. The Lord will cleanse them. The Lord will wash them. The Lord will purge them. The Lord will purify them tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, answer prayers tonight. We pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We we'll bless you, Lord. We we'll worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We we'll glorify you, O Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Lord, for tonight. I want you to pray that the Lord will give you the spirit of prayer. The Lord will baptize you with the spirit of supplication tonight. Uh, say, Lord, give me the spirit of prayer tonight, O God. Uh, give me the spirit of supplication tonight, O God. Uh, make this praying easy for me, O God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, make it easy for me. Make it easy for me to pray tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, make it easy for me, O God, uh, to be able to pray, to be able to pray. Have your way, O oh God. Have your way, O oh God. Bless us all together tonight, God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. And Amen. And Amen. And Amen. And Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let me make a quick announcement as we begin tonight. I sent you a link this morning to be able to get on the podcast. Uh, if you click that link, you should be on the podcast by now because I'm broadcasting to you on this line. I'm also broadcasting to you on the podcast. So especially those of you who are in Africa, if you are using your money to call, you don't have to. Just click on the link. It should take you to the podcast, and you should be able to hear this live in the name of Jesus. Everybody say after me. Say, I decree. Hallelujah. Say, I decree, I decree, and I decree that every pronouncement that I make tonight shall be established in the name of Jesus. I decree that every pronouncement that I make with my lips tonight shall be established, must be established, will be established. Open your mouth and make that decree first of all in the name of Jesus. Every decree that we make tonight shall be established. Every pronouncement that I make with this my lips tonight, they shall be established. They must be established in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Every decree and every pronouncement that I make with 
with my lips tonight. Father, they must be established. They shall be established. Pray, 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 pray tonight. Tell the Lord, I want to make some decrees now, O God. Let the decrees not be returned to me, O God. Let it not be a return to sender issue tonight. But let the decrees that I make, let them be established this evening, O Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. All the decrees that we make on this line tonight, let every single one of them be established in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, 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 pray that every decree I make, I decree that my decrees shall be established. Hallelujah! I decree that my pronouncements shall be established in the name of Jesus. I decree that my pronouncements shall be established in the name of Jesus. I decree that my pronouncements shall be established in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Every decree that we make in this prayer line tonight, every decree that we make against coronavirus tonight, they shall be established in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray that as we make this decree to be in faith and every decree that we make in faith tonight, let it be established, oh God, in the name of Jesus, let our prayers not be turned back to us. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Now, I want you to decree tonight, people, listen to me. I want you to decree that where you are cast down, the Spirit of God will revive you in the name of Jesus. That where you are cast down tonight, the Spirit of God will revive you in the name of Jesus. So many people are cast down. They have been staying in their house for so many weeks. They have not been able to go to work for so many weeks. They are cast down. They have not been able to make an income for weeks. They are cast down. I want you to decree tonight that wherever I am cast down, oh God, revive me tonight in the name of Jesus. I decree that I be revived, that my spirit be revived tonight in the name of Jesus, that the spirit of God will revive my spirit this evening in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I decree that the spirit of the living God will revive my spirit whichever way it has been affected. Many of us have shed tears. I cried today when I saw a video about a nurse in Brooklyn that they went to evacuate from her apartment because she died. Many things have happened to us, folks. I want us to pray tonight and make a decree. The, the Spirit, oh God, the Spirit, oh God, the Spirit of praise shall replace the Spirit of heaviness. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say I decree that the garment of praise tonight shall replace the Spirit of heaviness inside my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, let the garment of praise replace the Spirit of heaviness in my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, decree, 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 decree it. I decree that praise shall be my portion. In the name of Jesus, heaviness shall not be my portion. Praise shall be my portion. Heaviness shall not be my portion. Make that decree. Make that decree. Make that decree tonight. That praise shall be your portion. Heaviness shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Father, let praise be my portion. Let heaviness not be my portion. I decree it in the name of Jesus. The spirit of heaviness. I decree you will not have a room in my life from this time onwards. I decree you will not have a place in my life from this time onwards. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are making decrees tonight. We are making pronouncements under God tonight. It is legal. In the name of Jesus. And we have the authority to make this decrees. I want you to decree that the spirit of heaviness. The spirit of heaviness. That weighs people down during a pandemic like this. Will not have a room in your life. Will not have a room in your husband. Will not have a room in your wife. Will not have a room in your children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's make another decree tonight. Let's make another decree tonight. The pandemic depression. Pandemic depression. Pandemic depression. Shall not dominate your spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The depression that goes with this virus. Will not dominate my spirit. You must not dominate my spirit. Spirit. We are decreeing, we are decreeing, we are decreeing. We are making pronouncements in the name of Jesus. Pronouncement 
under the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say I decree the garment of praise shall replace the spirit of heaviness. Pandemic depression shall not dominate my spirit. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Mention your name to God and say, God, I don't know about others, but as far as I am concerned, I decree tonight that the depression that comes with this virus shall not dominate my spirit. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to make a decree tonight. Make a decree tonight. Say my spirit. Call your spirit. Say my spirit. Come on, say my spirit. I command you to refuse to be cast down. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my spirit, I command you to refuse to be cast down because of this virus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus my spirit refused to be cast down by this virus many of us cannot walk it's easy to be cast down many of us cannot open our businesses it's easy to be cast down many of us have friends that have died it's easy to be cast down folks i want you to decree tonight and command your spirit say my spirit my spirit refuse to be cast down in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let me hear you pray. Let me hear you pray. Let me hear you pray. My spirit refuse to be cast down. Let me hear you pray tonight. Yes, let me hear you pray. Yes, let me hear you pray. My spirit in the name of Jesus. I'm listening to you. My spirit refuse, refuse to be cast down in the name of Jesus. My spirit refuse to be cast down by what is going on around. Many of us don't have money anymore. Many of us don't have friends visiting anymore. Many of us have plans to go to places we cannot go. I want you to decree that your spirit will be lifted. Command your spirit to be lifted. Command your spirit to be lifted. Say, my spirit, say, I command you to be lifted and not be cast down. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my spirit, I command you to refuse to be cast down. I command you to be lifted tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I make that decree by faith. My spirit be lifted. My spirit be lifted up and not be cast down. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to command the spirit of fear tonight. I want you to command the spirit of fear tonight. The fear of coronavirus infection. I command you to leave me right now. Pray, 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 pray. Make that decree tonight. I command the spirit of fear of coronavirus infection. Leave me right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. There is so much fear. In the name of Jesus, all over the place. I want you to pray. I want you to pray and I want you to tell God. I want you to command the spirit of fear of coronavirus infection to leave you right now. In the name of Jesus, everyone is afraid to go out. Everyone is afraid to go to the marketplace. Everyone is afraid to go to the grocery. Everyone is afraid to be around anybody. Even nurses are afraid to go to work. I want you to pray tonight that the spirit of fear of coronavirus infection will have no place in your life. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of fear of of coronavirus infection. Leave me, 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 leave me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of fear of infection to leave me right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it is a fear of infection that makes you cough and you say, wow, I think I have this thing. That makes you sneeze and say, wow, I think I have this thing. I want you to take authority over the spirit of fear of coronavirus infection. Command it to leave you. Command it to leave you. Command it to leave you in the name of Jesus. Fear of infection. Fear of infection. I take authority over you and I declare you will not dominate my life. You will not control my life. Fear of infection. You will not dominate my life. You will not control my life. I command the spirit of fear of coronavirus infection. Leave right now. Leave my mind. Leave my head. Leave my thoughts. 
thoughts. Leave my heart in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's make some declarations tonight, people. Let's make some declarations tonight, people. Say, I declare. I didn't hear you say, I declare. <laughs> say, I declare. I shall not operate in panic. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I shall not operate in panic. There is enough to make you panic, my people. Let's be honest with ourselves. There is enough to make you afraid, my people. Let's be honest with ourselves. But say to yourself, I declare, huh? I shall not operate in panic. I shall not operate in fear. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I shall not operate in panic tonight. I shall not operate in fear tonight. Pray, 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 pray. Make that declaration. Make that declaration. I declare in the name of Jesus. I shall not operate in panic. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I shall not operate in worry and anxiety. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and say, I declare that all worry, I declare all anxiety about this virus must be far from me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Remember, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you, my people. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Say, I decree that all worry, I decree that all anxiety about this virus will be far from me, far from me, far from me. In the name of Jesus, all worry, all anxiety, all fear about this virus, I command you to be far from me, far from me, far from me, far from me. In the name of Jesus, in the name, let's pray about that, let's pray about that because everybody is so panicking, everybody is so afraid, everybody is so anxious, everybody is so worried. It's only if you are not sincere that you will not agree with me. Everybody is afraid. Everybody, what, what, why do you wear that mask if you are not afraid? Uh, why do you walk away from people that are coughing if you are not afraid? I want you to pray tonight. Take authority over being, you know, over being afraid. Take authority that oh, the fear of this, of, of this virus uh, will be taken far away from you in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, we will still be careful. Oh yes, we will still wear masks. Oh yes, we will still uh, uh, practice uh, uh, social distancing. But we should not walk in fear. We are doing that because the authorities say do it. Not because we are afraid. I want you to pray tonight. Fear. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. God has not given us the spirit of fear, folks. It's coronavirus that gave us the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear. It is coronavirus that it belongs to. God has given us sound mind. I want you to pray tonight. Say, I declare that sound mind shall be my portion as I go to work to attend to patients who have this virus. As I go to the nursing home where I walk, fear of this virus shall not push me down. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I decree that all worry and all anxiety, I decree that all panic, I decree that all panic, all attacks of panic, leave me alone in the name of Jesus. I shall operate in sound mind, with a sound spirit. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to take authority over these things, folks. Take authority over them. Declare that it's not for you. Declare that it's not for you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. For those of you who have been healed, for those of you who were infected before, and now you are clear. You know they are saying you can be reinfected. I want you to take authority over the fear of being reinfected. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I take authority over the fear of being reinfected tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, I take authority over fear of being reinfected. In Jesus' name, Lord, I take authority over the fear of being reinfected, oh God. Infected and reinfected. Hey, hey, let's pray over both. I take authority over fear of being infected. I take authority over fear of being reinfected. I declare in the name of Jesus, I shall not be infected. I shall not be reinfected. In the name of Jesus, you belong to one of the two 
two groups. Uh, say, Father, I came to declare tonight. Uh, I claim I came to declare tonight. Uh, I shall not be infected. Uh, I came to declare tonight. Uh, I shall not be reinfected uh, in the name of Jesus because you watch over me day and night uh, because you are with me uh, because you will never leave me and you will never forsake me. Uh, so I come tonight to decree and to declare in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, that I shall not be infected. I shall not be reinfected in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare and I decree tonight, I shall not be infected. I shall not be reinfected. No one in my family shall be infected. No one in my family shall be reinfected in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. As I go about my daily duties, as I go about going up and down, I shall not be infected. I shall not be reinfected infected in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I take authority over the fear of being infected I take authority over fear of being reinfected in the name of Jesus decree it and declare it I shall not be infected decree it and declare it I shall not be reinfected come on let's do some decreeing let's do some declaring in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus because he that watches over me never slumbers he that watches over me never sleeps God surrounds me even as the mountains surround Jerusalem. I am surrounded by angels. I am surrounded by divine protection. I shall not be infected. I shall not be reinfected. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to decree, 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 decree it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, I shall be strong. I decree that I shall be strong and very courageous. Open your mouth and pray those of you that walk in the hospital those of you that walk in the nursing home those of you that handle people that are sick say i decree that i shall be strong i decree that i shall be very very courageous in the name of jesus i shall be strong in the name of jesus i shall be very courageous in the name of jesus lord i decree tonight and i declare tonight that god being my god that jesus being on my side i shall be strong and I shall be very, very, very courageous. That is my decree tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. That's my decree. That's my decree. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. For that decree for courage, a decree for strength. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God, answer prayers tonight. Free from all fears. Our spirit is lifted. I want you to decree tonight uh, that your spirit is lifted. In the name of Jesus, my spirit is lifted. I am lifted. In the name of Jesus, I am not down. I'm lifted. We are making decrees tonight. It's different from regular prayer. If it were regular prayer, we say, God, please let me be lifted. Please lift my spirit. Oh, Lord, please don't let me be depressed. Oh, that is another way of praying. But now we are making decrees because we believe it is the will of God. It is a plan of God. It is a purpose of God for my spirit to be lifted. So I want you to decree tonight. I decree and I declare that my spirit is lifted in the name of Jesus. 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 Oh God, we thank you. We thank you for honoring our decrees tonight. We thank you for listening to us and honoring our decrees tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray for ourselves tonight. I want us to make a decree for ourselves tonight like this. Say, in the name of Jesus. Say it again. Say, in the name of Jesus. Say, we decree that all that are sick on this prayer line be lifted from the power of this virus. Say we decree all that are sick on this prayer line be lifted from the power of coronavirus. Fire your decree. Fire your decree. In the name of Jesus, I decree it. Father, we decree it. In the name of Jesus, we decree that anyone on this prayer line tonight that is sick, oh God, be lifted from the power of coronavirus. We decree it for you in the name of Jesus. Come on, make the decree for your brothers. Come on, make the decree for your sisters that anyone on this prayer line 
mind right now that is sick from this virus. I want you to decree that they be lifted. I want you to decree that they be lifted in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray tonight. Pray, 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 pray tonight. Anyone on this prayer line, anyone on this prayer line that is sick tonight, decree that they be lifted. I want to hear us pray that prayer together, please. Let me hear you pray. Let me hear you that prayer. Let me hear you pray that prayer. Everyone that is sick of this virus on this prayer line, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted. In the name of Jesus, be lifted. In the name of Jesus, be lifted. Whoever it is that is sick of this virus on this prayer line tonight, be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted from this virus. Whoever is among us on this prayer line that is sick from this virus tonight, we decree, we declare, be lifted, be released, be healed, be delivered. Pray, 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 pray. You are doing good. You are doing good. You are doing good. Command them to be lifted. Command them to be lifted. Command them to be lifted in the name of Jesus be lifted in the name of Jesus be lifted in the name of Jesus be lifted anyone on this prayer line that is sick right now anyone on this prayer line that is affected right now we command you to be lifted in the name of Jesus we command you to be released in the name of Jesus pray 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 I want us to pray that prayer for a while in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, anyone on this prayer line right now that is sick, we decree for you as the people of God, in the name of Jesus, that to be lifted out, that to be lifted up out of this affliction, in the name of Jesus, be lifted, in the name of Jesus, be lifted from this affliction, in the name of Jesus, pray, 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 anyone that is on this prayer line tonight that is sick, from this virus. Father, let them be lifted. Father, let them be lifted. Father, let them be lifted. In the name of Jesus, 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 be lifted. Anyone that is sick on this on this prayer line tonight, anyone that is sick on this prayer line right now, we command lifting for you. We command lifting for you. We command lifting for you. In the name name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whoever, whoever, whoever is hearing our voices, whoever is hearing our voices, whether you know you are sick or you are not sick, we decree and we declare healing for you. We decree that you be lifted right now. Anyone that is hearing our voice on this prayer line, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted. Anyone that is hearing our voices, anyone that is hearing our voices on this prayer line that is sick from from this coronavirus, we command lifting for you. We command you be lifted. We command you be lifted. We command will be lifted in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now I want you to decree, people. I want you to decree that anyone and everyone connected to you on the bed of affliction from the virus, uh, command them to be lifted up right now. I decree that they be lifted up right now. Everyone connected to me, everyone connected to me on the bed of affliction. Uh, they may not be on this prayer line. Oh, they may not be on this prayer line, but they are connected to you. In the name of Jesus, I want you to decree everyone that is connected to me on this bed, or that you're on the bed of affliction, uh, I command you be lifted. I decree and I declare that you be lifted in the name of Jesus, uh, because by his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are healed. I decree that you be lifted. I declare that you be lifted. Everyone that is connected to me that is on the bed of affliction tonight, uh, be lifted in the name of Jesus. uh, Be lifted right now. Be lifted right now. Be lifted right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to decree it. Somebody called me yesterday. Actually, it was on Monday. And we talked last night. Somebody very close to this person is on the bed of affliction. Another person sent me a picture from Philadelphia of someone that was on the bed of affliction. I want you to, I want to pray for those people. Be lifted tonight. Even as the people of God are making decrees. Anyone and everyone connected to us on the bed of affliction. Oh God, lift them up. Oh God, lift them up. Oh God, let them be lifted. I decree that they be lifted. 
I command it should be lifted. I declare a lifting for them from this affliction. In the name of Jesus, I decree, I decree, I decree, I decree, everyone connected to me, everyone connected to us on a bed of affliction right now, be lifted right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted. I want you to pray for infection in the lungs to be lifted out of their lungs in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that every infection in their lungs be lifted out of their lungs right now by the power of God, by the power of the angels, by the power of the blood of Jesus. I declare and I decree, make this decree, folks, that every infection in their lungs, every inability to breathe in the name of Jesus, every inability to eat, every general tiredness be lifted out of their body. And if you are sick, command it, be lifted out of my body in the name of Jesus. I decree it. It's a command it decrees a command a decree so when i say command it i'm also saying decree it because it's the same thing here is my commandment tonight here is my decree tonight every infection in our lungs every inability to eat every general tiredness in the body in the name of jesus christ of nazareth be lifted 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 in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i want you to decree whoever is sick and their lungs have been affected and they have not been they have now been put to sleep so their lungs can rest i want you to pray that by the time they open their eyes i decree they will be well by the time they they they, they open their eyes somebody use the word incubate all those that have been incubated that when they wake up they will wake up well in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we decree it we decree it we declare it in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to decree, 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 decree it, that anyone I know suffering from this infection will be saved and be delivered in the name of Jesus. Come on, Lord, save them, deliver them. Anyone that I know, oh God, suffering from this infection, they must be saved, they must be delivered. They must be saved, they must be delivered. They must be saved, they must be delivered. In the name of Jesus, in the name name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray tonight. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Whoever, whoever. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pray, 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 pray. Pray. Whoever, 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 whoever it is that is not well, they will be made well. Mm. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Out of the lungs, out of the body, out of the kidneys, out of the heart, out of the blood, in the name of Jesus, out of the blood, in the name of Jesus, out of any nook and corner of the body, in the name of Jesus. Father, answer prayers tonight. Father, answer prayers tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, infection of the lungs, out of the lungs, infection of the body, out of the body, infection of the blood, out of the blood, I decree it, I decree it in the name of Jesus. Thou shalt decree a thing, hallelujah. Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you. Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you. Open your mouth and pray tonight, hallelujah. We thank you for the victory we have in Jesus. We thank you for the victory we have in Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to pray for yourself now. I want you to pray for yourself now. I want you to declare and decree. Say, angels of deliverance, open your mouth. Say, angels of deliverance. Say, save me. And deliver me from getting infected. Say, angels of deliverance, save me 
and deliver me from getting infected. Fire your decree right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus of deliverance. I decree you will save me continually. In the name of Jesus. I decree you will stand by me continually. And deliver me from getting infected. In Jesus of deliverance. In Jesus of deliverance. Save me and deliver me from ever getting infected. And if I've been infected. Keep me from getting reinfected. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in jails of deliverance, save me and deliver me, Lord. In jails of deliverance, save me and deliver me from getting infected. In the name of Jesus, 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 in jails of deliverance, I decree you will continue to save me. I decree you will continue to deliver me from getting infected. And if you have been infected, they will deliver you from getting reinfected. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus of deliverance, save me and deliver me from getting infected in the name of Jesus, in jails of deliverance. Come on, make that decree, make that decree, make that decree. The angels are ministering spirits. They are sent to minister to the needs of the saints so we can tell them what to do on our behalf half, we can decree it and they will obey you. Angels of deliverance, save me and deliver me from getting infected. In the name of Jesus, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Say after me, say my eyes. Say it, say my eyes. Then say it, say my nose. Say my nose. <laughs> then say my mouth. Say my mouth. In the name of Jesus. Say my eyes, my nose, my mouth. Say a decree. In the name of Jesus, you will not be entry points of coronavirus into my body. Say my eyes, my nose, my mouth. Say a decree tonight. You will not be entry points of coronavirus into my body. Decree it and it shall be established. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to decree tonight. My eyes, my nose, my mouth. I decree to you. You are so close to me. You are hearing me. Oh, My eyes, you are hearing me. My nose, you are hearing me. My mouth, you are hearing me because you are the one speaking these words. My eyes, you are on my head. You are hearing me. You are not far from me. My nose, you are on my head. You are not You are not far from me. My mouth, it is you that is talking. I said the three of you in the name of Jesus. Come on, decree, decree, decree it. The three of them must not be entry points of, of, for coronavirus into your body. I want you to decree coronavirus. You will not enter through my eyes. I decree it. You will not enter through my nose. I decree it. You will not enter through my mouth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. I decree my eyes. Listen to me very well. I decree my nose. Listen to me very well. Well, I decree my mouth, listen to me very well. Refuse to be entry points of this virus into my body. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. Listen to my decree, oh God. And let it be established in heaven, even as it is established here right now. In the name of Jesus. My eyes, my nose, my mouth. My eyes, my nose, my mouth. Refuse to be entry points in the name of Jesus to coronavirus into my body. Don't compromise. Don't open the gate in the realm of the spirit. Don't open the gate in the realm of the spirit. Don't open the gate to any invisible person called coronavirus to come into my body reject it to come into my body reject it come on pray 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 decree 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus my eyes my nose my mouth I decree that you will not you will not you will not compromise with coronavirus to allow it to come into my body I decree you will not allow it 
in the name of Jesus, no matter how close it is. Father, in the realm of the spirit, Father, make it impossible in the name of Jesus, 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 my eyes, my nose, my mouth, you will not allow this virus in, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to make another decree tonight. Say a decree. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Say a decree tonight. Say I decree tonight that an invisible barrier. Hallelujah. Say an invisible barrier. I decree it upon before my eyes. I decree it before my nose. I decree it before my mouth. I decree an invisible barrier to keep coronavirus out of my body. An invisible barrier before my eyes, before my nose before my mouth, an invisible barrier. In the name of Jesus, be erected right now. Decree, 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 decree it. People decree it by faith tonight. Those who don't have faith will ridicule our prayers tonight. <laughs> Those who don't have faith will say, what are they talking about? Are these, pe- are these people serious? Yes, we are serious that an invisible barrier in the realm of the spirit will be erected before my eyes. I decree it. I decree decree be erected before my nose, a decree be erected before my mouth uh, to keep this pandemic foolishness out, uh, to keep this virus out of my body. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let it be erected, O God. Let it be erected, O God. Come on, pray, 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 that an invisible barrier will be before your eyes. Will an invisible barrier that is that is bigger than a mask in the name of Jesus that is bigger than a total face mask in the name of Jesus that is human trial now we are talking spiritual trial oh God a mask in the realm of the spirit a mask in the realm of the spirit the coronavirus is invisible we want an invisible barrier an invisible blockage in the name of Jesus before my eyes before my nose before my mouth to keep this virus out. Oh God, do it. In the name of Jesus, I decree, let it be so. I decree, let it be so. I decree, Lord, let it be so. In the name of Jesus, do it. I decree, oh God, that an invisible barrier be lifted up before my eyes, before my mouth, before my nose, that will not allow, will not allow any entry of coronavirus into my body. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to decree the same thing for your entire household to be kept from being infected. Oh God, everyone in my entire household, my sons, my daughters, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, every one of them, I pray, oh God, let us lose no one. I decree my entire household be kept from being infected. Let there be erected before everyone, let there be erected before the nose, before the eyes, before the mouth of everyone in my entire household uh, that nothing will be able to come through that virus will not be able to penetrate into anyone that is connected to me in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus uh, thank you Lord 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus uh, in Jesus name we pray In Jesus' name we pray. All participants are muted and they can unmute themselves. I want us to make a decree for all the all the medical personnel, all the medical personnel, all the medical people that are on this prayer line tonight. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say all medical personnel. Yes, all of them. Say all medical personnel. In this prayer meeting tonight, say, O Lord, we decree that they be protected from all infections. All medical people on this prayer line tonight, Father, we decree that they be protected from all infections. Fire your decree in the name of Jesus. God knows who they are. He knows who is who that is in the medical field on this prayer line tonight. All nurses, all doctors, whoever, whatever they are 
position is. They are all medical personnel, all medical people in this prayer meeting tonight, all medical people on this prayer line tonight. We decree for you that you be protected from all infections. Father, I decree, I decree, I decree that all our nurses, all our doctors, all our helpers in the hospitals, whichever category they, 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 they occupy, I de- we decree tonight uh, they will not be infected by this virus as they do their work. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, all nurses in this prayer meeting, uh, we decree for you. Uh, all doctors in this prayer meeting, uh, we decree for you. All medical personnel in this prayer meeting, uh, we decree for you. Be protected, be protected. We decree protection for you from all infections, uh, from coronavirus infection. Uh, be protected by fire. Be protected by fire. In the name of Jesus, be protected. In the name of Jesus, be protected. Pray, 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 pray tonight. Please pray tonight. Please pray tonight. Please pray tonight and make this decree that all medical people on this prayer meeting, ah, this thing has killed so many nurses, oh, Jesus. This thing has taken out so many medical people, oh, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We pray a covering. We decree a covering. Pray, pray, pray for them, please. Pray for them, please. We decree a covering, oh God, over them. In the name of Jesus, protect everybody on this prayer line from all infections. I decree it. Are you decreeing it? If I were you, I'll be going back and forth where I am. I'll be marching back and forth like a strong man for Jesus and decree that they will not, they will not be infected. They will not be touched. They will not be messed with. In the name of Jesus, anyone, anyone on this prayer line that is helping sick people, anyone on this prayer line that is helping sick people, oh Lord, we decree that they will not become sick themselves. We decree that they will not become sick themselves. In the name of Jesus, 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 we decree, we decree, we decree, we decree, we decree, we decree it. Come on, decree it, decree it, decree it, decree for our brothers, decree for our sisters that they will not be infected, they will not be infected, they will not be infected. In the name of Jesus, let's decree for those of them who are sick. Hey, and I know quite a few nurses that have been sick and God touched them, they got well. I want you to pray for nurses who are still sick right now, medical people that are still sick right, right now. I want you to decree that they be raised up by fire, by force. In the name of Jesus, I decree, oh God, that those who are on this prayer line will not be infected by this virus. And those who are sick right now that are not on this prayer line, who are infected and very, very sick, dangling between earth and heaven, I decree that they be set free tonight from the power of this virus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, set them free. Father, set them free. Father, set them free. Father, deliver them. Father, rescue them. Father, set them free. Father, deliver them. Father, rescue them. Father, set them free. Father, deliver them. Father, rescue them. We make a joint decree tonight. Pray, 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 pray. We make a joint decree tonight. We make a joint decree tonight that as many as are on this prayer line that are in the medical field, oh God, they will not be infected. And those of them that have been infected, we make the decree that they be made whole. By your stripes, we are healed. That they will be healed by the fire of God. They will be healed by the power of God. Come on, open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Don't let me be the only one talking. Come on, talk with me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let's make this joint decree oh, for our people. Let's make this joint decree for our nurses. Uh, let's make this joint decree for our doctors. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. We pray, amen, and amen, and amen. I want us to make a decree tonight, a joint decree, all right? Say in the name of Jesus, say we make a joint decree tonight against coronavirus, wherever you may be, all right? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we make a joint decree against coronavirus, 
Say coronavirus, lose your power to infect in the name of Jesus. I want you to decree that the power that it has will begin to be lost right now. We begin to be lost right now. And we want to hear in the news that this thing is losing its power. This thing is losing its grip oh, as a result of the prayer tonight. Fire prayer tonight. Make a decree that coronavirus will lose its power. Coronavirus lose your power. Coronavirus lose your power. Coronavirus lose your power. Coronavirus Coronavirus, lose your power. Pray, 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 pray,
the businesses that are dead be resurrected in the name of Jesus. Jobs that are lost be replaced in the name of Jesus. We decree it. The businesses that are dead be resurrected. We decree that jobs that are lost be replaced. Open your mouth and make those two decrees together as we close. That businesses that are dead be resurrected. Oh God, jobs that are lost be replaced. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Opportunities that are dead. We pray that they would, would decree that they come alive tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This pandemic has done a lot of havoc. This pandemic has done a lot of wickedness. I want us to decree tonight in the name of Jesus, the businesses that are dead, jobs that are lost, businesses will be resurrected, jobs will be replaced in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord, for replacing the businesses that are dead for resurrecting them right now uh, for replacing the jobs that have been lost uh, for giving them better than what they lost oh god in the name of jesus in the name of jesus uh, thank you father for the answer right now in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray finally i want us to decree say i decree in the name of jesus Say, I decree in the name of Jesus. Say, I decree in the name of Jesus. In fact, let's say we. Say, we decree in the name of Jesus. Say, we decree in the name of Jesus that all hopes that are lost will come alive again. That all hopes that are lost will come alive again. We make that decree right now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it as we close tonight. All lost hopes in the name of Jesus will come alive tonight. All hopes that are lost, we decree that they come alive tonight in the name of Jesus. All hopes that are lost, we decree that they come alive tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, let all lost hopes come alive tonight. I want you to begin to pray. I want you to begin to pray. I want you to begin to pray and begin to say, a decree all hopes even if you have lost hope that your hope will come alive again in the name of jesus thank you father begin to thank god for hearing us begin to thank god for answering our prayers we've got to the zero hour now thank him thank him thank him thank him thank him thank him for answering our prayers tonight Thank him for giving us the desires of our hearts. Thank you for the things that we have decreed and they have already been established. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bless his holy name. We worship him. We adore him. We honor him. In Jesus. Mighty, mighty name we pray. Everybody said amen. Everybody said amen. Everybody said amen. All participants are muted and they can unmute themselves. Father, we thank you for tonight. We praise you and we bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord God, for the power that we have to make decrees and see them established. God, you started it by making decree for the world to come into existence. And they did. Everything did. And we saw Elijah make a decree and it was established. We saw Joshua make a decree and it was established. And we believe that the decrees we have made tonight, we have authority to make it. And we have the legal backing from the scriptures to make them. So every decree that we have made, O oh God, let it not be thrown back to our chest. Let it be as we have decreed. In fact, let us see more than we have decreed in answers in the name of Jesus. I pray that the spirit of encouragement will come upon you. I decree that the spirit of encouragement will come upon you. I decree that you will not fear again. You will go around and you will do everything in courage. You will do everything in the strength of the Lord. And you will not fear in the name of Jesus, but you will have sound mind. Father, I decree it for everyone on this prayer line tonight. Wherever they may be, do it for them, God. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen. And amen. And amen. Let me quickly make some announcements. Those of you who are joining us on the podcast, don't go yet. I want you also to hear these announcements that we are going to make tonight because they may affect you. 
We're still going to be back tomorrow night by the grace of God. But tomorrow night is different. Tomorrow night, we are dealing with decrees concerning your life. Did you hear what I said? Like we did last Thursday. You know, last Thursday, when we talked about the little lords, on, Thursday, on Wednesday, we prayed against coronavirus. But on Thursday, we prayed for you. Now, tomorrow night, that's what we're going to do. In fact, if I tell you this, you will think I'm lying. But I have over 100 prayer points. And I don't know if I can even get to all these 100 prayer points. So I have to pick and choose for tomorrow night. You need to make some decrees about your life, my friends. You need to make some decrees about your job. You need to make your decree about your about your marriage. You need to make your decree. You need to make some decrees about your business. You need to make some decrees about your children. You need to make some decrees about the marriages of your children. You need to make decrees about the projects you want to do. You need to make a, a decrees about the rest of this year. So many things we need to make decrees about, and you need to be with us tomorrow at seven o'clock. And those of you who are in Africa at twelve midnight. Just come on podcast, all right? Just come straight on podcast at, at midnight. We'll be there ready for you tomorrow. We also want to thank God for those who are listening to us on podcast. You have, uh, we have so many people from so many countries that are listening to our podcast from Kenya, from New Zealand, from Tanzania, from India, from the Philippines, from Nigeria. <laughs> we thank you all. Just spread the word. Let people know about it. So tomorrow, not only can you call in, if you choose to, we have this option where from 7 p.m. New York time, you can go on the link that you have. Just press that link. We'll be right there by the grace of God at 7 o'clock. Today, we were a little bit late. We were about 10 minutes late. There was a reason for that. I'm not going to go into it. But uh, thank God we finally came back on and got to control of everything. So, and we want to ask those on the podcast to please click follow so you can be notified immediately we are on. Tomorrow, we will continue. And it will be for you. The decreeing and the declaring (laughs) will be for you and it shall be established. And then Friday night, we will go back to the virus, to the nurses and to ourselves. That Friday night will be everything all combined together. It promises to be a blessed week as we decree and as we declare. One or two more announcements. Sunday morning is Mother's Day. Hallelujah. Mother's Day is Sunday. I wish we would be in church, but we cannot. But nonetheless, I have a special Mother's Day message on Facebook, on YouTube, and on the podcast for Sunday. Uh, I, I can say this to you. You have never heard a Mother's Day message like the one you will hear on Sunday. Honestly, I'm not bragging. I'm not boasting. Because me also, I've never heard it before. But God gave it to me, and I got to preach it. On Sunday morning, I'm going to be the spokesman for all the mothers in your life. I'm going to be the spokesman for all the women in your life. It promises to be a challenging message to all our men. You need to hear it, and it's going to bless you. That's Sunday morning on Facebook, on YouTube, and on this podcast that you are listening to at 10.30 New York time. Of course, we'll be on in Sunday school at 9.30 a.m. That's on Zoom. Those who attend, you already have the link. Oh, by the way, Sunday evening. Hey, hey. Sunday evening, we have a special Mother's Day presentation on Zoom. We will tell you more about it tomorrow. Uh... By the grace of God, I will be able to have all the details from the organizers. So I will, but we're inviting you all to Zoom on Sunday night. I think it's at six o'clock, but don't let me say what I'm not sure of. I'll be very sure of it tomorrow. Uh, we have a special Mother's Day presentation uh, and program on Sunday night. It promises to be a blessed time. We're about to close now. Please go online as we say the grace after we say the grace. 
And please support our church financially. We thank God for those of you who have been very, 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 very faithful. May God continue to be faithful to you. If you have not joined those who are faithful, please do so. The work of God needs your support. That's www.freshanointing.org slash give online. You can give on PayPal with your debit card or you can give on PayPal with your PayPal account. Until tomorrow. When we meet again, may God bless you. It's my prayer. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Those of you who are from Africa, we know you are going to bed. We wish you a peaceful night rest. God bless you until tomorrow. Thank you.